I was wondering what would make me happy? Probably the coronavirus being over. But then I also thought maybe having a really nice flashy car or maybe even a yacht. Maybe lots of money or being really popular. Or maybe a nice tropical beach in the sun. Oh, I knew it wouldn't last. You know what, happiness is funny. Actually, the word happy comes from the root word hap, which sometimes you get a thing called a mishap when something goes wrong, or happening means that something occurs. And happy just means all your happenings happen together in a good and positive way. But happy outside things can change. For example, you can have lots of money and then you can lose lots of money. It can go wrong. Or you can be really popular and then you say something and you become unpopular. You can go to the beach and it rains. Your car can get scratched. Your yacht could sink. Happy comes and happy goes. It gets good and it gets bad. Outside will never last to make us truly fulfilled. But there's a different word I want to teach you today, a word that is actually, I believe, better than just happy. And that word is the second fruit of the Spirit. That word is joy. Now, joy sounds a bit like it's happy. It's like you can think it's the same word. But actually joy, the Bible tells us, is something that comes from within us. It's a gift from God. It's something that doesn't change and due to the things that happen around us, because actually joy comes from knowing that God loves us, cares about us, and the fact that in the whole universe, God holds it all together in his hands. That doesn't mean that bad things and sad things don't happen, but we know that ultimately, God is always there and will never leave us or forget us or stop loving us. So joy is something that's not dependent on the outside, but rather it's an inward thing that helps us even when we go through tough and difficult times. I want to tell you a story in the Bible about that. It's about two guys who you would think would be having a really bad day. Their names are Paul, or sometimes called Saul, and his friend called Silas. And they're having a day where they're telling people about Jesus, and it all goes a little bit wrong. They get arrested, in fact they get beaten up, and they get thrown into prison. Now if I got arrested, beaten up and thrown into prison, I would be pretty grumpy. I'd be pretty sad. But you know what? The jailer came out and he heard a massive, great, big storm and earthquake and everything all went a bit crazy. And then he heard something. He heard singing. People singing songs of praise to God. And he was like, that's just really odd. In fact, he was so worried that because the earthquake had happened, he thought all well, the prisoners might have escaped. He thought he might be in really, really big trouble. And then he came in and found Paul and Silas and all the other prisoners there were praying and praising God and saying uh, how amazing God is. And he said, what's going on? What, 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 what's happening? And Paul and Silas told this jailer all about Jesus, told him about a God who loved him and a God who doesn't change his opinion of us, a God who always loves us and is that firm foundation that doesn't change, who loved us and died for us and rose again so that we could have that amazing friendship with God. And that was so powerful that it changed the jailer's life. So joy is something that happens, isn't something that happens to us, like happiness. Joy is something from deep inside. It's God's helping us and supporting us, that foundation, whether we're having a good day or a bad day. It's that rock. It's that foundation. And there's another verse that says, the joy of the Lord is my strength, which means even when we're having a tough time, it's God's joy that helps us and sees us through. We might not always know what it is, but the Bible says, it's God's joy that helps see us through. Maybe today you want to think, God, 
Help me to have more joy. Help me to, to enable other people to have joy too. Maybe we need to think and ask God to help us. Should we just say a little prayer? Thank you, God, that you want to give us joy. Thank you that it doesn't, it doesn't rely on whether things go right or wrong. Thank you that you help us in, when we're having a good day and a bad day. Thank you that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Thank you that you do not change. You never stop loving us. You are always good. You're always kind. And even in tough times, you don't go away, but you go right through them with us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen.